wonderful positive appreciation from uh, the group that presented before us. Thanks again for that. Uh, Namaskar uh, to all my esteemed gurus, including us, because right now what we are going to present is meant for all the gurus that are present here and would be affected by what we are going to present, because gurus are those who actually mentor the unknown future. So what we are going to present right now is going to thank the gurus and the effect it would be especially seen on our students as well. So, we came across this wonderful uh, uh, quote by the person who discovered vitamin C and he said, Innovation is seeing what everybody has seen and thinking what nobody has thought. So on that note, I would love to point out what is it that all of us see. What we all of us see is what we lack, what is it that we need to improve ourselves and what is it that we need to improve ourselves the focus should be on the chart that is mentioned there, we could hold it a little higher it is social conditioning we are right from our childhood told to think in a particular way next is outdated courses, I am sure all of us agree and that's why we are here, most of our courses are outdated Parochial approach, we are not ready for a change. We want to stick to that narrow-minded thought, which was good for industrial revolution, we need to move forward, it's a different page now. And behavioral skills, all the time, our student community is, is dynamic, it's changing and we need to keep up with this dynamic student community. So that's what is behavioral skills all about. With the help of design thinking process that we underwent today, we have designed ways of finding solutions. And how is it that we have tried and we have listed actually uh, the various uh, uh, methods and solutions that we have come up with. And before that, have a look at this. This is what we are actually uh, going to, for our entire presentation, we'll be focusing, focusing on redesigning teacher training courses. So we begin with spiritual health, all the, uh, the things are mentioned here already which involves actually the teacher has to be very centered and calm. Uh, in, in spite of everything happening around himself or herself, she needs to be very centered and that is what spiritual health is going to, the, the forces that we offer uh, uh, is going to help the teacher better herself. which would help with the coping skills as well. So spiritual health is one area which has been neglected for quite some time and this is one lacuna which our training courses should be looking forward to fill. Now I'll move on. Nidhi will take over. Thank you, Harithiya. So to begin with, I am here to facilitate the how. So this is how we evolve to resolve. And how do we do it ahead? How do we take it ahead? So as uh, Haripriya spoke about spiritual health and once when that, that is imparted in the teacher training courses starting from ECCA across all the streams available next thing would be thinking and reflective strategies Yes, in layman thinking and reflective strategies but if I have to speak in technical terms it is better cognitive skills as well as certain important communication skills that's the need of the art that includes neuro-linguistic programming, trans, uh, like scripting which will help teachers to communicate much more assertively. Certainly once when teachers are well centered and calm within their own self, I'm sure they learn to speak more assertively and they are more centered and calm personalities. Yes. Then the next thing that we uh, plan to take it ahead is the virtual learning. So virtual learning should be taken it ahead by the teachers in terms of learning across the globe, which is the need of the art outside India. There are other mentors who want to learn from Indian teachers and the Indian teachers really, really want to attack what they are doing, which can be a win-win situation for both places. And uh, smart technological upskilling, which is nothing but connect to protect. We get all swayed away when we do our research and when we drift away from our topic. So our students getting really, really lagged behind it. So we need to definitely protect our content, what he is looking for. 
So I would like to make sure you take it ahead. Thank you, Hari. Uh, all right, I'll be touching upon uh, the most important aspect, which is the people skills and soft skills. Something which nobody trains until you reach a corporate life, you struggle, and then you have corporate trainings and soft skills, which I am into. I think it's very important to uh, introduce it at teacher level because teachers are the ones who actually require the most since they're dealing with various fraternities of people around. It will include students, parents, management, uh, family, where they have their peers, they have their HODs, they have a whole lot of people. And unless you're able to manage people well, get the work done from your uh, uh, juniors without people loving you, without making them feel humiliated without bringing about the linear structure of hierarchy, without making them feel small. You can have a collaborative and a beautiful teamwork. So how do you promote all this? It's trying to get into the mind of the people. So people skills and soft skills, I see, uh, as a part of behavioral skills training, is very important to be included as a mandatory aspect for every teacher. It also teaches the teacher how to practice the pause, which is, more, which is very important. Before we react, we all live in a reactive mode. I'm sure you all agree with it, right? So how to respond rather than reacting? That is something which people's skills and behavior modifications will help you with. Then there won't be six thinking hats by Edward de Bono. I'm sure you all know that. And many of you all have experienced it in your team, teams within your teams itself, where we have different kinds of thinkers, different kinds of communicators. Uh, you could have a thinker, you could have an analytic person, you could have a critical person who sees the negatives in everything and everybody mind it has a role to play. Even the negative person who sees problems in what my ideas you suggest is very important because then you don't see certain things when you're trying to be the positive. So every person plays a role, how you can give importance. So being adaptive, being flexible, creating connecting strong bonds and relationship building, in short creating a very healthy working environment, positive, action goal uh, driven and uh, long-lasting relationships at work. I think this is core for a teacher to sustain in an institution and to grow and evolve within the institution. I'll hand over uh, next to our... Uh, who's it? Next, baby. Okay, so uh, can I request all my team members to come inside? So here we are with all the focus with all the attention. I really look forward that you know certain important skills that needs to be imparted with our curriculum across all the educating criteria. Yes, as we have a whole that is this is the opening door and we are already in our way to redesign it. Yes, and the last thing but uh, one thing that we all believe that we have been doing since last two days is this we, this we stands for we and it also stands for versatility and victory because we have been doing this in a very little bit in our classrooms already. Thank you.